turn to the cold snap that's hit most of Europe. The cold front led to at least 10 more deaths in Central and Eastern Europe on Thursday, and it also disrupted traffic in some areas. Jenny Ling has the details. The harsh cold spell continues in much of Europe. Nine people died of hypothermia overnight in Poland on Thursday, raising the death toll there to 29. The temperature sank to below minus 20 degrees. Polish authorities said most of the dead were the homeless or elderly. The Polish government is now organizing personnel to distribute hot water and food to the homeless. We have a thermos, hot tea, a furnace, a gas tank. Every morning, we have a warm beverage, coffee, tea. The Red Cross Society and Red Crescent Society on Thursday said the cold front has caused more than 80 deaths in Poland and Ukraine. In the Czech Republic, five people died on the streets on Thursday, most homeless. A TV restation reported the cold snap this winter has caused nine deaths. The meteorological department said in the northern area the temperature on Thursday dropped to a record minus 28 degrees. The cold front also affected countries in southern Europe. In Serbia, nine people have died and 11,000 people in rural areas remained cut off on Thursday. As snowdrifts blocked roads and runways, ice seized up railway points and sub-zero temperatures froze fuel and car batteries. Helicopters flew rescue missions to evacuate the elderly and dispatch supplies as 30 centimeters of fresh snow fell overnight in neighboring Bosnia. It's very cold, minus 20, minus 30, everything's frozen. I'm afraid of injuries if I fall down on this ice. <laughs> on Thursday, continuous snow in Italy cut off traffic, and the snow in Milan disrupted airlines and railway transportation. In Milan, low visibility and a slippery road led to a 20-car pilot that left at least 34 injured. Weather authorities forecast the temperature in most areas of Italy will drop to minus 10 degrees in the coming days. Jenny Lin, CCTV. Many countries are suffering unusually freezing weather this winter. Some scientists say this could signal the return of the Little Ice Age. Nearly 80 people have died from a vicious cold snap in Europe and parts of Asia have been blanketed with snow. This January has been the ninth snowiest since 1966 for Europe and Asia. Though for the entire northern hemisphere, it's been about average. The weather is so cold that some areas of the Black Sea have frozen and rare snowfalls have occurred on islands in the Adriatic Sea. Ukraine alone has reported about 43 fatalities, many of the victims homeless people found dead on streets in the United States, Valdez, Alaska, and has had more than 8 meters of snow this season, which is about 3 meters above average, and the coldest region hit a record 66 degrees below zero centigrade over the weekend. Some scientists expect winters to continue getting colder as the sun returns to the low levels of activity seen at the end of the 17th century, also known as the Little Ice Age. Extreme snow in Japan is still taking a heavy toll on the East Asian country. 55 people have been confirmed dead, and the blizzard-like conditions are also wreaking havoc on local transportation in the hard-hit regions. Weather authorities are warning of more snowfall along the Sea of Japan. And Jutupri has more. Japan's worst snowstorms in five years have killed three tourists in an avalanche at a hot springs resort in Akita Prefecture in northwest Japan. Heavy snow triggered the avalanche, which crushed tents, housing an outdoor hot spring bath. Police are investigating the site of the failed disaster. A local resident said he was not surprised by the incident. That area had no trees growing around it, so I'm not surprised what happened. Many commuters found their journey disrupted by the weather with traffic reduced to a crawl. Some cars not equipped with snow tires were filmed sliding on roads caked with snow and ice. Snow piled up about twice the height of a local news reporter. Many residents are frustrated by the snow. My back aches. This is really hard on me. But not everyone is unhappy at the drastic change in weather. Some children are having fun outdoors, building snowmen and throwing snowballs at each other. 
Heavy snow that has blanketed northern Japan for weeks has left at least 55 people dead, according to the government. Most of the deaths occurred while people removed snow from roofs or roads. Blizzard-like conditions have also led to the cancellation of numerous flights and train delays in those areas hardest hit by the storms. The Japan Meteorological Agency warned that more snowfall is expected along the Sea of Japan. Andrew Dupuis, CCTV. For the latest on the heavy snow in Japan, let's talk to our correspondent, Terence Tarashima in Tokyo. Hello, Terry. What's the latest in the disaster hit area? Yes, the, the, the snow is accumulating very fast in the disaster area as well as the, the prefectures around the coast of uh, Japan Sea. Uh, let me update some numbers. Uh, 56 uh, uh, people are now found dead. Um, 342 people were heavily injured and 427 people uh, are suffering from minor injuries. And uh, they're all, um, uh, most of them were uh, injured uh, due to uh, snow falling from the roof or uh, they themselves are trying to uh, get snow, uh, 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 plowing uh, snow uh, from their roofs. Um, in some places in Aomi Prefecture, 435 centimeters of snow has accumulated and um, in most places over three meters of snow have accumulated uh, around the city's areas as well and the snow is uh, expected to continue until uh, tomorrow, later part of tomorrow so authorities are warning that uh, there may be uh, more accidents and, uh, and, and uh, uh, issued cautions to people uh, living in those areas. How are the local residents coping, Terry? Well, the local uh, residents, uh, the report said, is, is fed up. Uh, they have uh, to uh, get the snow down from the roof uh, every day, or sometimes uh, with, with this pace, uh, they have to get it down at night as well as uh, during the day in order to prevent from uh, the houses from collapsing. And also, they are not finding uh, places to dump those snows as well. The uh, river banks are, are getting full up as well and the supply is not reaching some of the uh, remote parts, uh, especially the mountain villages. So there are growing concerns that uh, uh, if the snow worsens, uh, some villages may be trapped uh, without any uh, supply of food. So there are, are concerns in, in the farming area community as well. And also city traffic has been disrupted and uh, people are, are, are trying to stay indoors as much as possible. Uh, in order to avoid uh, any uh, accidents or getting uh, caught in, in the traffic uh, outside. Thank you very much, Terry. Indeed, that was our correspondent, Terence Tarashima, in Tokyo. And one of the countries feeling that is Japan, where snow is expected to continue falling on the coastal prefectures along the Sea of Japan after its peak on Thursday. The Japanese Meteorological Agency says the winter pressure pattern is abating following weeks of severe freeze which have led to the death of more than 50 people across the country as of Thursday. Up to three and a half meters of snow had accumulated at the Okura village in northern Yamagata. And a similar height of snow covered Tsunan town in Niigata prefecture. The agency forecasts more snow will hit mountainous areas of central and northern Japan through to Saturday. The heavy snowfall has caused disruptions to train services and the cancellation of flights. The growing sea ice in Liaodong Bay in northeast China is becoming a serious issue and the biggest island of Zhihua there is now completely surrounded by ice. Monitoring of the sea ice by the State Oceanic Administration shows the cold front is making conditions worse in Bohai and Yellow Sea Bays with more than 35,000 square kilometers of floating sea ice and exceeding one-third of the total area of Bohai Bay. Authorities are continuing its blue, ice, blue sea ice alert. The sea ice on Liaodong Bay has expanded to 40, 74 nautical miles, 13 on Bohai Bay and 10 on Laizhou Bay. A new cargo ship was frozen on its maiden voyage. Marine staff says the sea ice is more serious than the same period last year. Cold snap is greater than last year. The ice should become 30 to 40 centimeters thick, much thicker than last year. The Gulag Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture in northwest China's Qinghai province 
has been suffering a severe snowstorm since January. More than 40 hectares of pasture have, have been frozen, with over 3,500 livestock dead from the extreme cold weather. The snowstorm has also brought a shortage of fuel and daily necessities. Sunan has more. Gandu County in the Golok Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture is one of the regions worst hit by the snowstorm. Most of the herdsmen moved to this winter pasture in January, but life there hasn't been what they expected. The snow has accumulated to nearly 20 centimeters since we moved here. The frozen grassland makes it hard to feed my yak. This used to be a major pasture for local herdsmen. The frozen land has caused all they have reserved for this winter to feed their livestock. This herdsman said he could no longer afford to feed his livestock if the cold continues, because what he has left is only enough to feed one-tenth of them for less than a week. Meanwhile, fresh vegetables started to be brought in from outside the county after more than a week without basic life necessities due to the heavy snow and frozen roads. The vegetable supply was a little bit delayed, so we will bring more vegetables than usual. Until now, major roads leading to the snowstorm hit areas have been cleared, but in short time the delivery of necessities Relief efforts are still underway. Sunan, CCTV. Temperature in the South Korean capital Seoul has fallen to minus 17 degrees Celsius due to the impact of the cold snap from Siberia. It's the lowest for February in more than half a century. The deep freeze is affecting local transport as well as people's daily lives. The country has issued a warning of the cold weather. Jiebai has more. The freeze has been gripping South Korea for the past few days. Temperatures in Seoul have reached a 55-year low, and in many regions, the mercury has dropped to the lowest point since weather records began. In Seoul, a subway train came to a halt due to suspected electrical wiring glitch, suspending northbound train services on subway line 1 for nearly five hours till noon, causing chaos for commuters. The door of the subway is half closed as it's frozen. We can only get in after waiting for the rest of the passengers to get off the train. Slippery roads have increased traffic accidents, causing dozens of deaths. Many more have been injured after falling over on icy roads, with nearly 100 rushed to hospital. I was parking my car here, then the other car went into a skid while it was taking a turn and bumped into my car. Classes have been suspended in more than 140 schools, with the education department allowing heads to shut at their own discretion. The exceptionally cold weather is expected to reach a peak on Friday. Jiebai, CCTV.